Welcome to Atilan. I think you will find it most interesting. As you have already heard from Uatu, to defeat Doctor Doom, you must acquire a shard of the Mikran crystal. It is currently located on a capital ship of the Shi'ar Empire. Luckily, we are acquainted with the Shi'ar, and they should be willing to part with the crystal. They are an alien spacefaring race, whose empire spans entire galaxies and incorporates thousands of different species. The vast realm is ruled by a hereditary leader known as the Empress. While the Shi'ar look very similar to humans, there are differences due to the fact that they evolved from birds. The current ruler is Lilandra, a wise and noble leader. She has had dealings with Earth before, most notably the X-Men. Their leader, Professor Xavier, was at one time her consort. Over the years, there has been trouble for the Shi'ar throne. Lilandra's brother, Diken, almost destroyed the Empire during his reign. And Deathbird, Lilandra's sister, has made several attempts to seize control for herself. Quite well. Cyclops' father, Chris Summers, first encountered the Shi'ar when they attacked his plane and took him away from Earth. Eventually, he escaped and formed the Star Jammers. The Star Jammers are a group of convicts who engaged in space piracy during the reign of Diken. Once Lilandra came into power, they became friends of the Shi'ar Empire and now engage in more legal forms of business. You are very welcome. Yes, how may I help you? She is the ruler of the Shi'ar Empire, a vast kingdom that encompasses entire galaxies. Her subjects find her to be wise and just. She has long been a friend of Earth, so I don't believe you will have any trouble in dealing with her. They are a group of humans that had been experimented upon by an advanced race many years ago. Because of that experimentation, the Inhumans now exhibit mutations when exposed to Terrigen Mist. It is a compound developed by the Inhumans to trigger mutations. After entering this mist, an Inhuman's special mutant talents will become active. Black Bolt is the king of the Inhumans. His voice is so powerful he dare not speak. Once he uttered the word no, 
and destroyed a large portion of the city. Yes, his wife Medusa aids him, along with his advisors, Gorgon, Karnak, Triton, and Crystal. I am pleased to help. Welcome to Adelan. I'm glad you could make it. Things were a little touch and go there in Asgard. This is Adelan. It was built by the Inhumans on Earth and moved to the moon a few years back. For now, but once Doom finishes with the Earth, who knows what he'll set his sights on next. We don't have much information at the moment. But we do know that Dr. Doom has beaten every attempt to stop him. You name it, it's been tried. Air assaults, land assaults. We've even tried laser attacks from space. Nothing phases him. Yes. By defeating Thor's father with the Twilight Sword and then taking him to the top of Raven's Spire, Doom knew he could steal Odin's power. It's useless to fight him in our current condition. So, we're going to do exactly what Doom did and steal Odin's power back. You're welcome. Is there something else you need? No one knows where it came from, but the crystal is supposed to be very powerful some sort of interdimensional nexus. It's basically a doorway to a dimension full of high-density neutron stars. Thing is, if that doorway collapses, the gravitational forces would cause our universe to be pulled through. That's the remains of an old city built by aliens known as the Kree. From here, the Kree traveled to Earth to genetically alter a group of humans in hopes of using them as soldiers. Eventually, the Kree gave up on their experiments and left Earth, but the genetically altered humans remained behind. They became known as the Inhumans. Their first city was located on an island in the North Atlantic. But as mankind developed better forms of transportation, the Inhumans moved their city to a spot in the Himalayas. Finally, the pollution of Earth became too much for them, so they moved everything up here to the moon. Hey, it's what I'm here for. I welcome you to Atalan. My name is Karnak. Yes, I am. My gift is the ability to see the weakness in anything. A plan, an item, even a person. Which explains why I'm part of my cousin's council. Black Bolt, King of the Inhumans. He often uses me as a strategist to find what problems there might be in any plans we conceive. That is Lockjaw. He's really quite an amazing creature. He has the ability to teleport anyone anywhere in this universe and even to other dimensions. Not at all. In fact, he rather enjoys your race. His favorite being the Thing from the Fantastic Four. I profess we were somewhat reluctant to allow you here, but Uatu explained the situation to us. It would seem inevitable. He knows of us, and given his power, we are too tempting a target for him to ignore. I'm pleased to help. Whoa. 
Welcome to Atalan. Although it goes against my pledge of non-interference, I found I could not stand idly by and allow Doctor Doom to destroy this universe. His abuse of the power stolen from Odin is beginning to strain reality. If left unchecked, Doctor Doom will cause a disruption in the time-space continuum that will consume this entire dimension. I am Uatu, the Watcher. Since before your people lived in caves, I have observed Earth and noted your evolution. I find that over the millennia, I have grown fond of your people. It would be unfortunate if you were destroyed. We are a race that is dedicated to observing the intelligent life forms of other worlds. On rare occasions, we return to our home planet and exchange this information. The first planet we observed, we gave rudimentary technology to. Much to our dismay, they destroyed themselves with it. You are most welcome. On behalf of Black Bolt, monarch of my people, welcome to Adelan. My name is Crystal. I would remind you not to attempt conversation with Black Bolt. His vocal power is so immense that he could destroy half of this city with a whisper. I have a question for you. My sister Medusa had traveled to Earth in search of the ultimate nullifier to defeat Doctor Doom. But we haven't heard from Medusa in quite some time, and we aren't certain where she might have gone for the device. She's either at the Baxter Building, Shield Headquarters, or Muir Island. Would you mind asking Dr. Pym where the ultimate nullifier is being kept? Hey, Cap. Welcome to Adelan. Good to see you, Hank. The Fantastic Four had been looking after it, but then I think S.H.I.E.L.D. took it. You should ask Nick Fury. Hey, it's what I'm here for. Welcome to Adelan. I'm glad you could make it. Things were a little touch and go there in Asgard. It was for a short time, but after the attack on the Helicarrier and the Omega, it was given to the X-Men to hide. Ask the Black Widow about it. You're welcome. Yes? Was there something else you need? Yes. It was given to them a short time ago. They placed the device on Muir Island under the care of Dr. Moira McTaggart. The security systems there are currently the best in the world. They are constantly being upgraded by the X-Men known as Forge and Beast. You are very welcome.
Yes? Did you need something else? My name is Crystal. I'm the sister of Medusa, who's the wife of Black Bolt. Yes, I have a psionic ability to control the four elements. Fire, water, earth, and air. A handheld device of unknown origin, the ultimate nullifier is thought to be able to eliminate any target desired. Apparently, even Galactus is frightened by it. You're welcome. Humans in the council chamber of Atalan. Never thought I'd see the day. But these are strange times indeed. Seeing as how you are our only hope of finding Medusa. I suppose I should welcome you. My name is Gorgon. And I am the Minister of War for the Royal Family. You're welcome, I guess. I've never been so glad to lay eyes on my own kind. I'd heard you were dead. Ah, we're helpless. Doom shrugged off every attempt we've made, and we've hit his castle with everything we've got. Small tactical teams, stealth bombers, laser-guided missiles, heck, we even tried the new gamma bombs. Nothing slows him down. Yeah, the X-Men and several other teams made a direct attack on Castle Doom. He beat them all, even Professor Xavier. I've never seen anything like it. What worries me most is Dr. Doom's just starting to learn about his powers. What's he going to do once he gains full control? I wish I had better news for you. Hello, it's good to see you. What can I do for you? Oh yes, he and I first met in college. We were supposed to be roommates, but he took an instant disliking to me and moved somewhere else. And that actually worked out for the best. Because I wound up with Ben Grimm as my roommate, and we've been best friends ever since. Hmm pretty much exactly how he is today. Arrogant, egotistical, and a genius. It's a shame, really. There was a time when I thought he and I could be friends. Well, in some ways, he and I are very much alike in our pursuit of science. The main difference is, I enjoy knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Doom, on the other hand, acquires knowledge in the hopes of using it as a weapon. Back in college, I pointed out an error in a project he was working on. He, of course, refused to accept that he was capable of making a mistake, so he proceeded with the experiment. Unfortunately, I was correct, and the equipment exploded. Doom wound up being expelled from college because of it. To this day, he still thinks I tampered with the experiment and caused all his troubles. It was no problem at all. Greetings, humans. I am Triton. It is good to see you. Well, I must admit to a certain affinity for your kind, and I have faith you will be able to help us locate Medusa. I am an advisor to Black Bolt, and I was also one of the first Inhumans to leave the confines of Atalan. Unfortunately, that led to my capture by a film crew. Eventually, and because of that incident, Atalan was transported to the Himalayas. And some time after that, we moved to our current location on the moon. 
We prefer to avoid contact with humans. Not that we fear you. Rather, we fear your ignorance and your suspicion of that which is different. Over time, your kind would have sought to attack us. That, plus the fact that your pollution of the air has made Earth's atmosphere all but unbreathable for us. I was there all those long decades ago when a ship of yours, the Lusitania, was sunk. At first, I was sickened that your kind could commit such an atrocity. I was about to depart when I heard your people's cries for help. I knew I couldn't leave them to drown. Unfortunately, I was only able to save one young boy named Billy. But since that day, I felt somewhat of an obligation to help your kind. You're quite welcome. Thank you. 